Hello everyone. Today we will see how to create a schema in MySQL workbench and create some tables and view them. This is just a basic example for the beginners. So the prerequisite uh, before you start on would be download the MySQL workbench. You can refer to my other videos where you can find the links how to download MySQL workbench and how to create a local instance. After you are done with it, then double click and open your local instance of MySQL. So this local instance of MySQL, uh, once you enter your username and password uh, for the first time, you can ask to remember it, the password, so that the next time when you double click and open your instance, it would open it automatically. So this local instance mainly has all the schemas that you have, and the schemas have tables. So these are the schemas that I have that I already have. So uh, the structure would be this is the schema, JSP testing demo is my schema and in schema I have tables, testing data, user data, these are different tables that I have and I have views tab and I have a routines tab. So these are the, uh, so this is the folder structure of the schema, okay. So now we'll see how to create a new schema. For that you need to select the database uh, icon that you see here. When you scroll, you can see create a new schema in a connected database. So click on this. You will see the option name your schema. The name of the schema. It is recommended to use only alphanumeric characters. Spaces should be avoided and be replaced by underscore. Okay, so this is um, first schema. Okay, first schema and the collation. Collation is always set to the server default. And then click apply. Once you click apply, what does this MySQL workbench does is it gives you the script of what exactly it is running. And then you can click apply. Once you apply, it would give the option whether you would like applying the script and whether you would like to execute the SQL statement that it showed us. Say finish. Once you say finish, in the output panel right in here, you see that the apply changes to first schema changes applied okay now when you check in the schemas the object browser panel you can see the first schema right in here so this is how we create a schema now let's create a table click on the table and say right click create table once you say create table it gives you the option of table name column name and all these options you also have columns indexes foreign keys triggers partitioning options okay let's go to column and here enter uh, create table this is my table name create underscore table is my table name and once you say create underscore table you can say apply but you need to specify some of the options even if you know if even if you want to use the mysql workbench directly uh, you can go to uh, my SQL file right in here that you see. Write the SQL code and create a table. Else, go to here and then say collation. What is the schema? Schema is the default. Means it goes to here. Schema is the first schema. Okay, and then the column name. What is the column name that I want to have? ID. Okay, and the data type. Once I say column name ID, this is just for an example, you can have your own column names. Okay, once you enter the column name, you need, it scrolls uh, to the next tab that is data type. Data type is, these are all the different data type options that you see. It can be char, var, char, int. In this one, I would be selecting int. Okay, and this is the primary key option. So, this belongs to primary key or not null, unique index. Use binary column, unsigned data type, fill up the values, auto increment. So usually you can select auto increment for ID because it's usually 1, 2, 3, that's what we give for IDs. And that would be my primary key. And primary key, once you select, it will select the null because primary key cannot be null. Okay, and these are all the different default options. You can scroll down, click here to enter another ID. That would be first name. And data type is varchar. Okay, usually of this it it suggests you what are the different data types. Okay, and then you can click here 
go here and say last name data type would be varchar okay and then uh, so now you can see if id first name and last name you can do all these different options as well but in this tutorial we'll just see how to create a basic schema and a table click apply once you click apply these are the same script when you created a table so this is the same script that you see uh, when you create a table so previously we have seen the script for the schema so this is for the table so as i said if you know the sql and if you don't want to use the e interface you can just copy it select it copy and paste it and write in here it does the same thing so apply execute the sql statements finish once you say finish you can see that the apply changes to the create underscore table change is applied so we have applied the changes successfully now you can see in the object browser create table what does this create table have id first name last name in the columns index is for in these triggers now close this close this now in the sql file if you want to see you will say select star from first schema dot create table write your select statement select everything and this is the execute button that you see right in here execute once you execute you will see right in here this is the table that we have created we have not entered any value so it would be null as of now and then here you see select from this zero rows return so this is how you create a schema and create a table so you can create a number of schemas as per your requirement and inside it a number of tables usually we will try to accommodate all the tables and related to related to schema i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you